Simplify each of the following powers. Any variables in your final answer should be written with positive exponents. Fractional exponents should be converted to a radical. Minus 20 over 4 reduces to just minus 5. Divide the powers by subtracting their exponents. Clean up the double signs in the exponents. Simplify to get minus 5 times a raised to the minus 5 over 3 times b raised to the 3 over 2. Bring a raised to the minus 5 over 3 to the denominator and change the sign to the exponent. b raised to the 3 over 2 is written in radical form as the square root of b cubed. a raised to the 5 over 3 is written in radical form as the cube root of a raised to the power of 5. Now we'll move on to part b. Write each power so it has a positive exponent. Two cubed is eight, two to the power of four is sixteen, and two to the power of five is thirty-two. Get a common denominator for the two fractions in the numerator. Add the fractions in the numerator to get three over sixteen. We are dividing fractions, so multiply the top fraction by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction. Use cancelling to reduce the fractions. This gives us 3 times 2. The answer is 6. Now we'll move on to part C. In the numerator, we are multiplying powers at the same base, so add the exponents. Do this in the denominator as well. Simplify the exponents. Bring up the denominator and change the sign of its exponent. We are multiplying powers at the same base, so add the exponents. We can get a common denominator of 2 in the exponent. Add the fractions in the exponent to get 3 over 2. We can write this in radical form as the square root of 1 over 16 cubed. The square root of 1 over 16 is 1 over 4. Cube 1 over 4 to get the answer of 1 over 64. Now we'll move on to part D. Everything in brackets is raised to the power of 0, so it becomes 1. Nine raised to the power of one half is written in radical form as the square root of nine. The answer is three. 